we've also bought a whole bunch of new things. Um, for a start, that's a PlayStation 5. Hello everybody, how are yous all doing? It's a little bit of a change over here, have you noticed? We've got a screwdriver now! Wow, amazing! <laughs> it's very strange, a whole new setup's been switched a whole about. Although if you're new to this stream, then uh, I guess you can't notice. So if you weren't aware, if you're not new to this stream, this is all different. Uh, you can see if you look on our past broadcasts, probably, um, but not any of the ones that are permanent. That's a whole different setup. Uh, we usually are in a tiny little office in the, like a, in a cupboard, essentially, in the boiler room. That is our usual layout. However, for the next two months, I have free time. I am not editing or working on a major video, with a couple of exceptions, for two whole months. I have two months free. Either way, I'm rambling. Uh, 2020, during quarantine, everyone just had too much free time, didn't know what to do with it, right? I didn't have that life. I have been working non-stop all through 2020. My day-to-day -day life ain't changed that much. I just worked on YouTube videos before, at home, did the same after. Um, so not necessarily I'm looking for the quarantine life, but now I have it, is the point. And because I have the free time and my girlfriend is still self-employed, editing her own uh, YouTube content for her employer, she is still working. So we decided to swap offices. But yes, we have shuffled the entire setup is basically the thing. If you do go on to past broadcasts, you see the streams I made a year ago when I was doing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for like a month and a half. And that is the same room. It's the same couch. You can kind of see it. And those posters are what was the background before. We used to have the couch there. I think we moved it into the middle of the room and made like a... No, it wasn't L shape. It wasn't a bed. Um, but that was usually in the middle. Of... That was the... A year ago setup, we since then had pushed it against the wall, that was the only change. But now, flipped it over, we've also bought a whole bunch of new things. Um, for a start, that's a PlayStation 5. Uh, I managed to get one for way cheaper than everyone else is paying for them, out of pure luck mostly. Massive thing, like the size of our TV. TV's also new, we got that this morning at 7.30 in the morning. It's a Christmas gift from my girlfriend's parents. So again, got a discount for our very first 4K widescreen thin Dolby Vision TV, which I do not understand the technology of behind. The last thing I experienced was before you could pause live TV and rewind it or fast forward over the ads. I, I, I don't know it. There's a Netflix button on our remote. I didn't know that was a thing. Crazy stuff. Oh my, that room big. Oh yes. We were very lucky to find this place. This is essentially the length of the whole house. We have one more room there, which is a kitchen, but it's like that way more than it is that way. You know what I mean? So, yes. And we are right in the corner to spread it right out. Um, I'll, I, can, I can point out more things as we, as we look around. Um, you love the new setup? Well, thanks. It will be sticking around for hopefully two months, and then after that, I might swap back. Depends how much my girlfriend hates being in a tiny cupboard. I could deal with it, the boiler room, but she might be like, eh. Clearly, there's a you know a disparity because I get the 4K TV and all things. So we'll see. Also, actually, I need to, I will check this. I guess it as a vod now. I need to check my audio because this ain't got my soundproof panels. There's not soundproof panels along this. So I might need to get my old, I have no idea. Get my old soundproof like foam wall that I used to have with this microphone. Yeah, we'll make it work. 2020 is a trailer for 2021. That is a horrible, a horrible point you could have possibly brought up. I'm, I have high hopes. I have a, I have hopes that we're on the up and up. Unless a second pandemic decides to sweep around. But like, I'm hopeful. I've got plans for 2021. Actually, I don't. I've got ideas for 2021 that'll hopefully become plans. I I have to try and not work. It's very difficult. I want to plan out, like, all of the video slots for all of 2021. I want to plan out, like, some extra cool things, like changing formats, ways to spice things up. And I'm like, no. This is supposed to be my two-month holiday 
break. I'm just not, not very good at it. I'm really not. So, my girlfriend and I the other day, we were going through, we were looking at our local cinema. Local-ish. Oops. Trying to make plans for 2021, because we will be, hopefully, well, actually, I guess during these times anyway, we're allowed to go out to the cinemas, but, um, we were just scrolling through, like, what comes out, and, like, every other movie in 2021 is, like, a massive banger of a franchise, and we were like, we have to, we have to go to the cinema so much next year. I have to make so much content. Crazy. All of my YouTube content at the moment is looking back on old films. I want to keep going with some of those, like my terrible movies and the This Movie Is Coming Back series. But I'm going to have to do movie reviews on top of that, and I, I probably just have to keep going with double uploads. Which I guess feasibly I could do, and like financially and business-wise it's a good idea. It's just a lot of burning work, you know? When Clifford the Big Red Dog movie comes out, you need to watch it and review it. It's on my watch list. <sighs> What is your opinion on Sponge on the Run? I've never watched it. I don't like the fact that it's, you know, steps on the ideas of the creator saying I don't want prequels. I was going to cover it, and then it popped up on a day I didn't know it was coming out. It was just like, oh, it's on Netflix now. Well, I guess I missed my mark to review it. Prep and all that. So, no real thought. But it wasn't very good, so. I'll pass. Maybe I'll do a terrible movie on it in a year. Have you seen the nine animated movie? I have not. Heard lots of recommendations for it, ain't got around to it. I've got a long list of movies to watch. The first one I need to watch is Wonder Woman. Yes, Wonder Woman, because then Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out Christmas Day. So I should probably know that. Could do with watching Man of Steel as well, and Aquaman, and Shazam, and Venom, which is Marvel, but still. Um, haven't seen any of them. I just only have seen... Batman vs Superman. I haven't even seen the Justice League. So I'll watch the Snyder Cut and not the original. Like, I'm out of the loop with, Diz with DC. I think I just fell out of love with it at some point, you know? Batman vs Superman is an okay movie. I enjoyed it ironically. I was getting really entertained by the ragdoll physics and like the constant explosions that went over the top. Like, there was a point, I don't remember when it was, I was like, I don't know, Superman punched Batman one time. And I was like, and he, he went flying and I'm like, my god. Are we not done with this yet? I was like, this is too much. This is too ridiculous. So, I enjoyed I was like, this is a bad movie, but I enjoyed it, you know? Didn't even pick up later the memes of the Martha thing, you know? I didn't think it was so stupid in the moment, but then afterwards I was like, yeah, it was kind of stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yes, I can use this opportunity to show off some more some more things in our room, if you care about it. I mean, I sh I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm becoming a bit of a boring adult. I've spent most of my day just organizing the TV stand. I've got several consoles, I'm not sure if you can really see it very well, um, all perfectly like wired up now, they're all plugged in into different extension cables to switch in and out, all neatly packed, because we've got obviously PlayStation 5 working hard, then we have, we have a laptop for my girlfriend and a laptop of mine that you can't really see, especially when I'm in the way, there's a Wii U in the middle here, has the gamepad hidden around the back there, have Xbox 360 down there, which will be hijacking to get our nostalgia stream stuff out of, I guess. Oh, God, I'm bad at this. GameCube, that I also haven't used these two in a very long time. They're kind of just dusting away, but quite for the now, so I guess maybe I can start using them on a TV that's way too big for them. And then Nintendo Switch around the back there. It's very nice. And then a couple books in the top right. Oh, God. And quite plants. Decor. Ooh, I... But there you go, we have a broken little uh, question mark box that kind of lights things up a little nicer. Um, oh, I've got more! I've got more light! Can't work it out. Fine. I've had this Triforce for ages. Um, there's a button. Am I wrong? I may be missing. There are three parts to this. Uh, ah. Uh, doesn't really have the charge for it. But, uh.
There you go. Some more lights for us. A little bit more video gamey themed. Is that a Men in Black International poster? It is. Doesn't necessarily. You you've got a keen eye. But oh no, no, it is kind of visible with that. My goodness, it looks like a fire. It's not a fire, is it? No, it's not a fire. It just looks like one. Um, not necessarily a good film. We were disappointed in the, uh, where it went. Um, I don't wanted it to be. There was some idea I thought was going to be really cool. Might be like that the girl was actually a bad guy or something. Um, but we were able to get it from our local cinema. We knew we knew some of the employees basically. So I was like, hey, can I have any spare posters? Which is why we have that one, and that one, and that one, I think. And the Toy Story one that's out of screen and you can't see it. Um, and then the Portal one's actually mine. Then back to the future, way in the corner here that you'll never be able to see. Would you ever play video games with fans, and also would you ever stream FNAF? Uh, I think FNAF has been done to death. Also, I hate horror. Cannot play it. Absolutely not. Uh, we did used to play video games with uh, with fans back in the day. We would play Mario Kart Online, or we'd play Smash, um, or we'd play Jackbox. Potentially again. We'll have to see. Um, maybe. Maybe. What is your favourite Back to the Future movie, if you don't mind? I really liked the second one. I understand the, the complaints in the second one. I know that it's maybe not as critically good as the original. But I really like how it tr it put its movie, it put itself into last movie. Like the shot of Arnie McFly walking past the car where you see his younger self inside it from the shots of the first movie. Like it's just composed in. Ah, oh, that's like, wah. I just only wish they'd known they were doing that the first time. Because there's one bit that they could have finished where uh, Marty's on the stage and then future Marty is up at the top of the stage and like drops a sandbag something and it would have been really cool if in the first movie the the original Marty like starts going off the stage and recognizes there's a random sandbag on his like in the way and steps over it and it's never established they never explained in that movie and then they explain it in the second one that would have been that's the only thing I'm like they should have done that and put more time in the VFX shot of his hand but that's from the first film so, there you go um so I want to see the cool things in my room. Like I can show you a bit more of an angle of the things. Wow. There's our, oh, look, there's our router. There's our couch full of mess that I haven't sorted. A dining table that I also haven't sorted. Our old tea box. Oh, tea box has a whole new game. There's not much. A bunch of cards. Sorry if you feel a little ill about this. Cards dangling. And then clothes. More work. Yeah, I don't have much to show. I guess I kind of pointed it out with all the all the consoles up. Alright, here's another idea for you, because it comes into things. I would like to release merch at some point, but if I do want it to be good. What are some merch ideas? Um, because I would love to at some point have a poster, but for that I need to have something that like... Yeah, I could just do like a massive collage of all my... Like, I, I need to work out on a design on that, but also like... And a shirt. Is there any memes or inside jokes that we can make shirts out of? Do I just go with uh, little badges or, or like uh, keyring pieces? So what are they? Shall it just be the logos I use for the channels, but maybe make my own original art piece? Rebrand it? Like what do? A shirt that says you didn't really care. That's incredibly easy. Why didn't I say that? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> okay. Because I was also thinking, like, do you want a uh, something with my actual face and body in it? Is that a bit weird? I don't like wearing people's just logos, you know? I like it to be an actual design that's interesting, and it's like, oh, this is also merch for a guy I know. You know, it's like, it's, you wear it in public. Oh, this, is, this isn't clearly, you know, a logo. I don't want to just wear Nintendo on my shirt. I want to wear Pikmin. Like, oh, this is a Nintendo shirt. You know what I mean? Could you do pins? I could. What would the pins be of though, you know? An animated little cartoon in my face, just like, you know, like, but actually drawn? Um, we'll see. You should make more inside jokes in your videos. I should. It's hard, man. How do, how do you plan that? I can't. I mean, actually, I guess I can kind of try to for 2021. We'll see. But like, that's... I'm not good at that. I just ain't, you know. <laughs> I've I've had several times been like I need to sit down and do it, but I never actually have a specific admin plan of planning them. But yes, 
Is that a background screwdriver? It is. I needed this to dismantle the TV stand that was our old TV that's now packed away in our old t our new TV box. And I had to I need to do it. So I was doing DIY all day today, basically. I almost fell into my drinks and I was very upset. Can you eat my drinks? Yeah, stop. First time I can actually a chair. I can spin around out here. Fantastic. Bit of a child. I'm not used. This is literally the first day this has been set up like this. Pretty much. So, still getting used to it, my. If you only know me as Dazlet plays, first of all, hi. But also, I do more than just uh, the gaming stuff and the stream highlights that it is now. We have more things. That's my main... That's my main channel. Daz Reviews. Whole different content. It's not gaming anymore. It used to be gaming. It used to be gaming like analytical stuff. It is movie stuff now. Um, and a little bit of gaming gaming movies a lot of time. So, you see a question block in the background. Yep. Giving its lights because the batteries are dying apparently. We've got batteries. Prep that next time. But yes. We did at one point have it stuck, my, my hand not pro above the door, and you could literally bash it up, except one day I hit it too hard, or someone did, a guest did, I can't remember. It fell on the floor, snapped in two, so it's actually not functioning. Oops. The actual light part, back there. But hey, in it now. It does also come with the sound effects. Ah. Okay. There you go. Last of its light. Oh no, that is it lit up. So, cool little thing. At some point I will have free time, but technically I don't right now because I'm still setting up all this, you know? All of my day was TV stand, all the stuff around it. And like there's, we've got a Chris, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. There's a Christmas tree around the back there, completely out of view, uh, that I also have to set up, you know? Cleaning is my days. Eventually when that's done, I'm gonna read a book, actually. but when the book's done, I'm gonna finish Days Gone. But when Days Gone is done, in between Days Gone, then I'll watch all the movies. Starting with one of them. Whatever. Daz, you should add custom Daz video points rewards. Yeah, it just takes a lot of admin and work and I don't understand how it works. I'm a bit old school. What kind of point rewards do you want? Like, what can I do with it, you know? Even when I was asking for merch, we've got You Didn't Really Care and Pins. That's all I've written down for merch ideas. So, points rewards, I need to work out for the own thing, my own thing. Similarly with like Discord and like little things I could do for that. There's a lot of things I'm like, what can I do with my brand? With my ideas? Uh, you know. Do you cook much, Daz? A chef has to know? Yes! I didn't before. I used to live off of like beef and onion slices, chuck them in the microwave, or like cold pasta packets you get. From Iceland. Um, I don't know if you guys have Iceland. Hey, I'm back to the advertising again. Really, let's see if I can get a sponsor. I've been getting HelloFresh. Awfully expensive, but they give you recipes and how to cook them. I've been eating those every day, five to six days. Um, and that's taught me to cook all sorts of things. So yes, I can cook now. Been doing it for a month, two months. Otherwise, that's enough from me. My name's been Daz. You don't really care. You can barely see my left eye. Doing a bit. Bye bye.